to assess the kicking battle? Yeah, it's going really well. I think we're both uh, kicking really good right now. And, um, you know, taking it day by day, I think, you know, it's a long competition. You know, we're only in uh, week one. So um, I think we're both just putting our head down and trying to make kicks. How much do you rely on him to, to operate plays at times? And kind of the other way, too. How do you balance that with the competition element of it? Yeah, I would say I think in most kicking competitions, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, been in the league a little bit longer. But, you know, we're both vets in that respect. And, um, you know, I don't think there's a lot of relying on each other at all. I think we both have our own process, and I think we both kind of, you know, just put your head down, and, and all you can do is control um, what you can control, which is just making the kicks. So, like you said, you've been, you know, on on a couple of teams, kicked in NFL games, and all that. How do you keep working on your process and refining it? You know, when you, you've bounced around a little bit and all that, like how does that work? You know, mentally. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just like anything. You know, you take it one day at a time. You know, you go out and it's 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 pretty simple. You know, you go out and try to make the kicks, and that's really all you're trying to do. Why do you think, in your estimation, you've been out of college for a while and only gotten in three regular season games? Why you haven't been able to stick on a roster? Is there a certain aspect of your game that you need to continue to hone? Yeah, no, I'm really confident in uh, what I'm doing. Like I said, I think we're both kicking really well. I think, um, you know, a lot of kickers, especially during COVID, you know, there's a lot of times where you're going in to fill in for a week, you know, and then that guy's back. You know, I've kicked behind a few pro bowlers and stuff, so it's you go in and have a good game, but, you know, there's no, uh, you know, there's no, no real path forward, I guess. So, um, you know, that's kind of been my career, but I'm excited to be here right now and excited to compete. With the kind of the, the gaps between teams sometimes, like, is there anything you have to do to kind of make ends meet sometimes between uh, when you're actually uh, getting those regular season gigs? Like, how do you do that? Uh, no, I mean, I, I think you guys all know it's uh, NFL pays pretty well, these, you know, most of the time. So, um, you know, I, I've bounced around a lot, but I've, you know, the other part of that is I've been on a lot of teams. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, I, I think he's mentioned it before with kickers, but I mean, that's really every position. You know, you go into preseason, you got three games, and, um, you know, there's a lot of other guys out there. So they're looking at every position, and that's not something that's just with kickers. It's quarterbacks, receivers, any position. So, um, again, you know, with kickers, it's it's you go on every day and try to make your kicks. And hopefully if you do that, you know, you end up, uh, end up here. It wasn't the NFL, but you had that full season back in Orlando in 2019. Mm -hmm. So, like, do you feel like that kind of show, shows some teams like, hey, this is what I can do if you make me the number one kicker, if I have some consistency here and can be around for an entire season? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that was, you know, yeah, that was a long time ago. I think I've gotten a lot better since then, um, you know, improved on a lot. But absolutely, you know, I, I had a good season that season. And um, I think it's, you know, for a lot of kickers, it's no different. You know, field goals are the same with, you know, no matter where. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same, so. Kickers are kind of like closers in baseball. It's just like all or nothing thing. Or do mm -hmm. you enjoy, what is it you enjoy about it, especially when you're often called in to finish yeah. it off? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, you know, I think every kicker in the NFL and in college, right, you you live for those moments, right, you know, where we may not be the most athletic guys or anything, but, like, there's points in games where you get to go out and everybody's, you know, has to look at you and you could be playing the best guys in the world and they have to sit on the sideline and watch you either make or break their season. So I think that's pretty um, addicting, and I think uh, most kickers like that a lot. Maybe a similar question, but as you've bounced around, what's kind of driven you to, to keep going and keep chasing this? Yeah, um, I've bounced around a lot, but like I said, you know, I, I've been a lot of places where it's it's filling jobs, and it's, you know, it's, it's a hard league to break into, especially if you're not drafted. So, you know, you kind of got a little uphill battle. But, um, you know, I've, I've always been confident in what I do. Um, and, I mean, that that's kind of pushed me. You know, it's it sounds kind of dumb, but, like, if you keep getting calls, like I'm not, I'm not gonna say no, you know. So, how does uh, how does the way the ball flies at altitude does it does it have a big impact on, on what you do? Do you have to adjust it all? Uh, I wouldn't say adjust at all. It's just it's nice that it goes a little bit further. It's like you come here to golf a little bit, right? It makes yeah. you feel good about yourself. So uh, that's nice. <laughs> You've been in uh, mano a mano kicking competitions before. Do you pay attention to the other guy? No, I mean you're, you're definitely. It's not like I'm I'm hiding from it. You know, you know we both know what we're doing, but um. You know, you're not focused on what he's doing. You're focused on what you're doing. But, yeah, absolutely. I know what, you know, he goes in and makes one. I know if he makes or misses, and I think that's vice versa. The NFL added new world kickoffs with the fair catches. What do you think of that change, and how does it kind of affect your approach? It's interesting, yeah. Um, I think it's going to change the way a lot of kickoffs are done this year. Um, that's probably about all I could say on it.
what do you think of Mike Westhoff? Oh, I like him, man. He's been around the, the league for a really long time. He's a, you know, and great, great asset to have, um, you know, kind of as a special teams coach in here. So I think it's great.